of home here in East Lansing. Uh, but like I said, uh, I mean, you still got an individual workouts, and uh, now it's really just just letting things play out how it's supposed to play out. And uh, but through this whole process, it's been fun. It's uh, been a humbling experience. Uh, definitely feel blessed for this opportunity. Um, and it is. It's definitely humbling uh, when you compare yourself against other talents out there and uh, just just understanding the, the, the place you're at and how far you've come. What's the difference with the program when you were first here? You know, this, this was a pretty big deal. But now you were on the sidelines. Your teammates are watching you. Now you're the one out there <laughs> in the middle of it. It's kind of, yeah, it's funny you say that because I was just talking to LT about that earlier, how fast time flies. Uh, seems like I was just in here watching Kirk throw to BJ and – uh, it, it's, it's crazy how, how, how time flies. Um, just telling them how he'll be here next year and uh, I'll be back to see them. Um, it's, it's just crazy how, how, how far the program's come also. Um, you see more and more uh, representatives from each team uh, each year, uh, more head coaches, uh, owners, general managers. Um, and that's just a testament to where the program has come, uh, the victories and, and the type of people that Coach D's been able to, to produce. And, and I think teams are starting to realize that nationally and uh, I think we're starting to get more and more respect. What do you feel like you showed teams today, Curtis, about what you can do and bring to their team? Uh, I mean, I just showed them my, my versatility. Uh, show them that I'm able to flip my hips, uh, change directions, cover the field, uh, make players on the ball. Um, I just really want to come out here and, and perform uh, well in each position drill and, and just really show what I can do. Is there anything in particular from the combine that you wanted to do any better? Uh, I want to do the broad jump again just because I didn't like how the nine sounded. Uh, so I had to redo the broad jump and then um, had to do the bench because I, I, I didn't bench in Indy. Um, and then it was just, just field work. What did you get on the broad jump today? 10-3. Uh, then as far as teams go, have you had any visits already or do you have any visits or workouts coming up? Um, I've met with... Uh, the Bears, um, the Patriots, uh, went to dinner with the Jets. Um, got a couple workouts lined up that I know of, uh, and I'm not really sure what, what else is, what is lined up for me yet. Do you plan on watching the draft with your friends or family or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to just I'm gonna just chill. Uh, I'll probably just chill uh, with my brother and my immediate family. Um, really more so just watching. Uh, I'll probably honestly watch until Trey get drafted um, and then just – just kind of go do my own thing. Think Dark uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you got it. Think Dark Quest is going to return the favor and come and hang out with you <laughs> this year? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know if, if I'm inviting Dark Quest. Uh, Dark Quest invited me last year, so I, I, don't, I don't know if he has an invitation to, to mine or not. But, uh, I mean, that, that was definitely a, a cool experience to go down there and, and, and take part in that. Has he been giving you any input and, and advice on this process at all? Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Uh, I was actually, we was actually rooming together down in uh, Boca when I was training, and I, mean, I talked to Quest every day. Um, he, he just always talks about just, just staying to yourself. Uh, don't, don't change for anybody. Um, just, just understand that everything happens for a reason and uh, just, just continue to believe in yourself. Um, he, you see him, uh, first round draft pick and, and goes to the Bengals and has to kind of sit back and, and not play as much as he wants. And um, it, it's just a, a testament to his character. Um, he was never uh, down about it or he always wanted to be playing because any competitor wants to be playing, but he really understood things. Um, he's, very, he's very mature. Uh, for his age, uh, so uh, yeah, Quez is definitely, definitely a good friend of mine and, and somebody I look to for advice. Appreciate it. Trey says that he threatened, uh, or Dark Quez threatened Trey before he went out in the uh, skills. If he dropped a ball, that he was going to beat him up or something like that. Did he do that to you? No, he didn't do it to me because uh, he, he, he knew that would have been a that would have been a pointless bet. Uh, I mean, that, that's something that I work on is, is my hands, and I take pride in that. And you could beat him up as well, right? Uh, I mean, if, 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 if it needed to get to that point, I think Quez knows, <laughs> he knows what's up. Thanks, Chris.